Fantastic. Now, let me just get into it. Gentlemen, ladies, uh, thank you so much for making time. On my extreme left, on my extreme left, this gentleman has done duty for the national team, Harambe Stars. He has been a skipper for Harambe Stars. Most of you know national teams like Brazil, England, and this was in Guinea. But Kenya, we have a national team. This is for the benefit of those who know, don't know a national team. Harambe Stars, that is our football team. James Situma is known in the circles of football. James Situma currently is one of the biggest stakeholders in terms of football welfare in the country. James Situma has captained the national team. James Situma has won a lot of accolades. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put it together, hands for James Situma. I'll introduce them quickly, of course, then I'll give them why they are here and that. Uh, let me go, of course, to his uh, teammate back in the day. My immediate left here, we have Innocent Mutiso. Innocent Mutiso is a big face on television. Most of you have seen football pundits, the likes of uh, Rio Ferdinand, the likes of uh, Gary and all that on television. Innocent Mutiso is our biggest football analyst in the country. Am I saying the truth or not? Yes, you are saying the truth. Mutiso also was big in football, both, of course, for club and country. Innocent Mutiso, thank you so much for making time. Then, ladies and gentlemen, uh, those who know some of the biggest goalkeepers that we have in the country. In Kenya, let me give you this, ladies and gentlemen, we have not had any other goalkeeper that I know of in my sporting career like Matthew Automax. Let's give it up for Matthew Automax right there. He has done wonders for this country back in the day when I was still in class two. <laughs> Last but not least, let me bring in, he's a former vice chairman. Yanni, you see the job that Gianni Infantino is doing right now in FIFA? He's the president. My very good friend, Sami Sholei has been in football administration in this country for all the times I can remember. He has done duty for club and country in this country, in this continent, in this region, for all the years that I've been in school and also as a sports journalist. Let's put it together for Sami Sholei. You look very nice. But let me get into it immediately. I know, of course, gentlemen, you have your microphones over there. Uh, Better Africa doing something. Watch any answer in James Ituma. James Ituma, you have been in football administration. You are currently in football association. You are fighting for the welfare of footballers in the country um, and also outside the country because you are in fifth pro, all that. You'll tell us a bit. But what Bet Africa are doing? Is it something beneficial to your people that you lead? I'm a Bet Africa or to home. Sorry. Okay, I was saying uh, it's, uh, it's a new journey for Bet Africa and uh, you know what they are doing for. For, for football in this country is a plus for us. So, uh, where I stand from, I represent the Kenyan players, uh, the welfare of the players, and uh, you know, the, always the challenge has always been uh, finance, finance. So we believe uh, them coming on board, they'll have to make uh, football grow, and also we, we believe other investors will come on board and make sure that we have more, more financial uh, in, the, in the club level, also go down to the grassroots level, and uh, I can say that, uh, you know, they have, they, we have always been having a corporates willing to support the Kenyan uh, industry, football industry. But again, we have been always laid down by the leadership uh, wrangles at the top. But we believe uh, Betafri coming on board is a local company. And uh, we know they mean well for the Kenyan sports. And uh, we, we give them 100% uh, support. And we'll always uh, make sure we market them because when the welfare of the players are looked into, we believe all will be well and the growth of football will be on another level. And of course, indeed, that is James Ituma. L ladies, ladies in the house, I know, ladies, you love football. See le football, munacheza. See le football, munachezanga. But ladies, you know the kind of football that I'm talking about. And Bet Africa. <laughs> is fully supportive of women football. And uh, I'm not choosing Innocent Mutiso to answer this question because I'm choosing Innocent Mutiso because he's very innocent when it comes to ladies. 
So, Innocent, um, what will be your advice to Bet Africa? Because Bet Africa management are here. Nimona marketing manager Kawapa, Nimona Wale Wakubwa, Bet Africa. And uh, most betting companies come and just support the men's team. What is your advice to Bet Africa in terms of women football? One thing I'd like to thank uh, Bet Africa is to recognize us. It's been a long time, or I think um, it's been a long time since footballers were recognized like this. We were put on the pedestal like this. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I have been seeing um, ambassadors of um, betting companies who are not even in those spots. But I would I'd like to tell boldly, Better Freak, your ambassadors are here. Your ambassadors are on the pitch playing football. Your ambassadors right now, they are the Kenyan footballers, uh, men and women who are playing football on the pitch. We are here. We are the small sportsmen in this country. We don't get the recognition that we really deserve. And right now, for Bet, with Bet Africa recognize us, recognizing, recognizing us like this, I think it's a huge step. And I hope it is a trend which has been set and they continue doing like this. I hope this is a project that has been started. And I really hope that um, Bet Africa can go to a notch higher and another level with this uh, trend which has been started today. Innocent Mutiso, uh, thank you very much for that introduction. As we go into uh, uh, my good friend here, Matthew Ottomax, to tell you exactly what he has achieved. Because he ended on a jua, because these are ambassadors, the way he has clearly put it. So Matthew Ottomax, um, into this, you've watched the Kenyan football during the pandemic, of the pandemic, back in the day, during your days. What is the challenges that we need to really... Uh, go over how and how can Bet Africa help us overcome these challenges? Thank you, Kualanda. Uh, my name is Matthew Zotamax. Uh, my favorite fans call me Kenya One. I played for Arambia Stars, played for Gormaya, and I played for AFC Leopards. It's a rare feat for someone to cross from Gormaya and go to AFC Leopards. Uh, before, only one person had done that, the late John Okelo Zangi and uh, then I followed suit. Nowadays, it's very normal with uh, our current players. Well, being a footballer in Kenya is not an easy feat. I, if I remember my, my days or our days with Cholet, we were given a paltry 150 shillings uh, for the days we were in the camp, but we, we did it for... for it was, it, was, it was all about passion. Um, first, before I move forward, I'd like to thank uh, Bet Africa because these are, these are rare one for me. Uh, it's the first time someone has recognized me. I've, I've, I've won all accolades with uh, almost everything, with the national team, with my clubs, but no one has ever given me such a stage to come and say hi to my fans and uh, football stakeholders. So it's something that is coming, uh, I'm saying uh, Bet Africa. They've come at a time when our youth, they need a lot of uh, such players in, in this industry. We've been, we've, we've had, we've had, we've had our federation being suspended, guys staying at home for not having, uh, for not having places to go and work. So for me, it is a plus. It is a plus hoping to grow together with Bet Africa, and I know it's going to happen for us. Uh, and at this time, um, of course, Situma Utakuja Useme Vizuri Yako, but let me just bring in uh, former vice chairman of the Kenya National Federation, or if you like, Football Kenya Federation, um, Sami Sholei. Sami Sholei, you've been in football. You've seen the current wrangles that have uh, engulfed us as a, as a country until we've been suspended by FIFA. You said you'll be vying for the top position when the time comes. What are your plans now as you're facing this difficult time in our Kenyan football now that we've been suspended internationally? My name's uh, Sami Sholei. I am um, a victim of 150 shillings allowance per day with my colleague, Matthew Zotamax. Um, before I actually answer you, you know, 
when we were playing back in the days in the 90s, um, we went through a lot of suffering. Uh, Matthew Otamax was actually my, my goalkeeper then. Um, we didn't have sponsorship then. And first of all, I want to thank uh, Better Freak for recognizing us. Uh, my colleagues have said a lot about recognition. Thank you so much. We hope to be in the next uh, billboards, uh, probably from next week, um, you know, advertising your products. So um, we didn't have sponsorship then. And, you know, traveling from one country to the other was a big problem. And I remember so many times, you know, getting a connecting flight to, to another country. I remember there's a time we went to Lesotho. Um, we landed uh, in Johannesburg. We had to sleep on the floor of the airport the whole night. Because then, you know, there was no sponsorship. So Better Freak is actually coming at a very right time. And, you know, it's a blessing in disguise when you see a betting company. And, of course, um, a Kenyan company, a local company coming into football sponsor sponsorship. And my advice to you would be that if you're sponsoring a club and there are salaries uh, within the sponsorship, just make sure that you send that money to the players' accounts. Let us not have a go-between between the players and and, and, and the office. Because, you know, we've been having a lot of wrangles in, in Kenya football because of money. I was in the federation as, as the vice president, not the, the vice chairman. The vice president, I was suspended for six years because of fighting for the rights of my colleagues. I decided to vie for the, vice pre, uh, for the presidential position. Uh, because I wanted to, to use the experience that we had, we went through with my colleague Otamax to correct the mistakes that are there even today. But because somebody uh, wanted to, you know, uh, to eat money that comes from FIFA, a money that, I mean, the money that, uh, you know, uh, you don't have to account for, I had to be suspended. So, um, better freak. Uh, just just pick a few a few uh, advices from me. Just make sure that whatever you do in, in the sports industry in this country, let that money go to the vendors and or the players. But ladies and gentlemen, that is of course uh, very true in terms of the support that players need directly. pesa inakujanga kwa mifuko ya wadosi, alafu wanaeka kwa mfuko, players wanapeleka 150 shillings numbani. That is not right. So, of course, that has to be corrected. And Betafric, if you're here, officials are here, remember these are the faces to put on billboards. These are the people to put as influencers because they meet people at the nerve, at where it matters. Ukipatia mtu mungine kazi ya kukua ambassador wa Betafric, sasa huyu na mpeleka wapi and he has done duty for this country. Remember, if you don't recognize these legends of ours, they... The people who will come after you also, they will not recognize you. So we are doing better. Africa, thank you very much for ensuring you recognize these people because this will go in the history books as uh, something very historic. James Situma, let me bring you into this uh, as well. Uh, before I call one of uh, from an audience, we don't want just to be talking to you. We also want to hear from you. We have football stakeholders amongst you, many of them, journalists included, and, and of course in various medias. Uh, Situma, apologies. In detail and in summary, the work that you've done as a footballer, because I'm sure Betafric uh, went after ambassador and they will want to know what you've achieved so far till where you are. So which football team you played for uh, until to where, what level and what you're doing currently. Because what you're doing currently uh, on an international level is very important to the country. People don't recognize that, but you need to tell us about it. Okay, I always say uh, my life is a story. It's a book. Uh, we are chatting with Otamax down there that it's time that we start maybe writing books. So uh, currently I'm the president of Kenya Footballers Welfare Association. I represent the welfare of the players, uh, both um, Kenya Premier League players, women Premier League. We have a national Super League. We have also women uh, Division One. Uh, thank you, my buddy. So. Uh, Another, another thing is that uh, I did play for Wild Hope, that is uh, currently City Stars, and then I turned out for Sofa Parker for seven years. 
uh, winning uh, NSL champions and also winning uh, Kenya Premier League title on our debut year. Then I went to AFC Leopards, played there one season. I won a good, good TV. Then I shifted to Tusker AFC Leopards. I played for three seasons there as a captain. Uh, I won also Kenyan Premier League and also Go TV. I moved to Kakamega Homeboys for six months, and then I came back to Madara United. I played for Kenya national team from 2010 to 2018. That's eight good years as also a, a captain. In total, I did play for 17 good season Kenyan Premier League. 17 years. And, and Sutuma, these 17 years in the country, compared to, to other countries, do we have a long way or we are almost there? Uh, I think we we still crawling. We still have a very, very long way. But I can say, you know, everything has a, has a start. And Betafri coming on board, I think, is a new dawn. And I believe they have, uh, they come on board, show us the way, show other corporates the way. Because most of the guys have always wanted to invest in Kenyan football. But uh, most of the times, as uh, my senior say, the wrangles, uh, the mismanagement of the, of the Kenyan football industry always makes the corporate shy away. But I believe, uh, you know, Bet Africa being bold enough to come on board and make sure that they, they initiate this, they come up with such a, a good initiative. We believe what we always fight for, for the Kenyan players, for the welfare of the players, because they are main key stakeholders. And most of the time, they are, they are sidelined. They are not, um, their welfare are not taken well, well, well care. Because we always say, OK, they are, they are always languishing in poverty after playing football. Then what happens? As you said, we believe those people always being involved in football industry, directly in football industry. Football belongs to footballers. And when we take care of the welfare of the players, we grow the Kenyan football. And also, we believe it will go down. It will go down to the grassroots level because football as an industry is uh, it's like a circle. It starts from the management level, coming back to the technical level, come, going down to the players. So, if all can work in unison, then we have a we have a good generation. We have a, a good working environment, and we always uh, attract corporates coming on board to make sure that they support football in this country. And that's of course one of them, Bet Africa. Bet Africa. Uh, I need to find an official from Bet Africa. Neza tembe na mic. Asante. Uh, but as, as I look for one, uh, I've seen my, the marketing manager, Harry Bor, Ako in the house. You need to come and confirm to them if you'll be giving them jobs next week. Because these are the faces that you need to put on billboards. These are the people you need to put. Nakuja eh, kwako, don't worry, Bor. Nataka will respond to Useme. If you're going to give them jobs, because you've put them on a stage, and they are selling your product. So we have James Ituma, we have Sami Sholei, we have Matthew Otomax, and we have Innocent Mutiso, who are representing a whole bunch of good players. Who amongst them will you make on billboards, Amo Wapatie Kazi, Wakwe Influencers? Uh, none of them. <laughs> but anyway, we have a program, uh, an upcoming program. Our main agenda is to grow sports in Kenya, local sports, from the grassroots level up to the top professional level. So once the company picks up, we intend to engage the former footballers, football stakeholders, uh, up to the Federation and the Ministry of Sport. And of course, that's true. Harry Bohr, uh, with their company, even I've worked with them for the last two years. They have supported in all different kind of fields in uh, sports. So I know you will support these individuals. Please, Usi Wasahau. Thank you so much. Harry Bor, of course, is the marketing uh, manager of uh, uh, Bet Africa. Forgive my tongue. So as, uh, as we continue, I just want to bring in a very serious uh, football stakeholder. This gentleman has uh, witnessed different governments taking office and going away. This man knows Sami Sholei, the former vice president of Football Kenya, inside out. So I will ask Milton Nyakundi, to tell us, or tell Bet Africa, the nitty gritty stuff that they can do to ensure that they become a brand that is standing out in this congested market. Milton Yakundi. Um, first of all, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Um, perhaps I stand here indicted uh, over what is happening in Kenyan football because of um, 
the stand that we have taken with a few of our colleagues in terms of calling for better governance and reforms in the football ecosystem and sports in general. And the events that have led to the current situation in the Kenya Football, football Kenya Federation, I was at the center of it. But I want to say this, as Bet Africa you come into the market, first of all, congratulations for taking the bold step. And secondly, allow me not to, Kualanda, not to talk about how much I know about Sami Shole and the gentleman there, because we will not end it here. Um, I think Betsafe, uh, Better Freak, uh, for the record, I would want to challenge you that as you come into this, you're coming into a market that is congested already, but then the opportunities are there. Earlier this morning, I said in another event that football in this country, the value is well upward or north of 10 billion shillings. And everybody has something in it. Everybody can do something. Everybody can get something. So the legends, there have been questions about how they have been recognized. I think you have an opportunity to mainstream them into the operations and the administration of the game. And it is not just about the federation. Ladies and gentlemen, football, if the ecosystem is right and better freak, you have a chance to engage with this gentleman and some of us so that we give you the ideas. On this platform, we are not able to give you every idea in the detail, but we can do so as we engage further and beyond this gathering here tonight. So for purposes of this gathering, I just want to encourage you and tell you that you've started on the right footing by having those uh, gentlemen there. I hope we'll have ladies as well because we have women who have also been legends of the game and there are many and plenty. In conclusion, I want to say this. There may seem like there is no hope for Kenyan football at the moment because of the hula baloo that is going on. I want to assure you that there is hope. And as you come into the market, you are going to be major contributors to the Sports, Arts, and Social Development Fund, which is a fund that goes into developing sports. And the legitimate expectations of the stakeholders is that you will get into the unexploited areas of football development, and we are willing as stakeholders, even as we do our politics, we want to shield the game away from the politics by ensuring that where the game has to be played, let it be played. When we do politics, we must ensure that we shield it away from our, you know, dynamics and everything that we do. So for now, thank you very much. Once again, congratulations and thank you for recognizing our legends. Because as the late Vice President Michael Wamalu Akijana told us, a country that doesn't recognize its heroes will itself be lost. Thank you very much. Asante uh, Sana, thank you very much. I understand we have a very busy, active night. For those who are going to Naivasha, we have a helipad and Apaju, Apo Emara. So if you park there your car, CC to Tatumire lift Iko on the extreme left. Wengino Neza Tumia, get away route. Anyway, gen ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me just, of course, get into this. Um, I'm being requested that uh, our honorable legends, Innocent Mutiso, you can stand for a photo shoot. Uh, they need you to stand together. Mukisimama Pamoja Karibu. These are our legends, Innocent Mutiso, Matthew Otomax, Sami Shole, who has played and has been in administration, and of course, James Situma, who has played, is in administration. Ladies and gentlemen, Makofi Tafadali kwa our my legends wetu, Magwiji wetu, Asante Sana for making time. So ladies and gentlemen, that's of course was it for this particular session. Thank you. Enjoy the pleasantries this particular evening. I have been your second MC and MCA incoming Manda Shivanga. My name is Tony Kualanda. <laughs>